I know this is probably a weird place to talk about this, but there was a lot of things that happened during my childhood that I held a lot of resentment. Good morning vlog. I'm still here, bachelor staff. Kimmy's still gone. I don't know when she's coming back. I do know when she's coming back. I kind of know when she's coming back. Shout out to Angela Sattler. Who else do we have here? Mike H from Philly and um, Jenna Blunt. I'm about to ship your shirts right now. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I spent all morning, I woke up this morning at five o'clock. I've been doing plans for all my new online clients. So shout out to all my new online clients. I got to pick up the kids from school today. We got to do homework. And there's something I want to talk to you guys about, as always, right? So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, before I go, so look, I'm about to eat breakfast. This is protein waffles with egg whites. I made the protein waffle with this Kodiak cake mix, and I put a scoop of protein powder in there, and I bought this waffle maker for like three bucks at a garage sale, so I'm super lit, and this is my first meal of the day. I'm about to go pick up the kids from school. This is usually a a 45 minute drive if there's no traffic. So I usually use this time to listen to an audio book, listen to a podcast, like, and I know I've mentioned this before. It's so key to try to take advantage of every moment in your day to do something productive, whether that's educating yourself by listening to an audio book or something that's going to make you a better person. Like there's so much value in reading and in, in self-education because it gives you confidence. It gives you confidence, and confidence is everything. As if I've never done this. So I made it to the side a little bit early. I usually leave. It takes a, it takes about forty five minutes to get to where my kids live, but I usually leave an hour and a half in advance because the, the traffic is so unpredictable. Holy f I just locked my keys in the car. I just did that. Yes, I just locked my keys in the car. Um. I'm parked right in front of the vitamin shop. <sighs> All right, so here's the situation. It is now 2.41. My daughter gets off the bus at 3.20. I just called Pavalock. They said that they'll be here in 30 minutes. They better be here in 30 minutes or else I'm in a situation. Because my daughter, they live far away from the bus stop. She goes to school out of zone. So now I got a game plan. I have to, for one, maintain my energy right now because I'm very frustrated. Very frustrated at myself. <sighs> but I know if, if I start getting upset and I, I lose control of my energy, then it's just gonna attract more bad things ha happening. I just gotta have faith that this is gonna work out. My daughter's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get to her in time. They're gonna get here early. I'm gonna call that right now. And I'm going to get my child, and I'm going to go get RJ, and then I'm going to carry on with my day as, no, as normal. So let me go in here at the, in the vitamin shop. I got planned to do when I first pulled up, and everything's going to be fine. Papa Lock will be here in a second. But what I, what I was about to say to you guys before I so stupidly locked my car keys in the car, um, I'm here at Vitamin Shop. I came to pick up some some uh, some more protein, but I hear a lot of people complaining about how much it costs to eat healthy. And the minute I started making more money and I started become getting in a better financial situation, the first thing I started investing in is into eating health, eating healthier and eating better. Like this time last year, Kimmy and I had probably about $30 to our name between both of us. And we were eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and ramen noodles every day. 
I see it all the time. People saying, yo, it's so expensive to eat healthy, but then they have $300 Jordans on their feet. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Phone number? 718. See what happens when you don't get upset and you don't freaking let your energy get all messed up? Everything works out. See, look, I spoke to Pavlok. They told me it was going to take 40 minutes. She shows up in 10 minutes. And that is just the universe rewarding me for my patience and for me not getting upset and starting to stress for no reason. I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to be able to get my daughter before she gets off the bus. Woo! And boom, just like that, I'm back in the car. That right there was a prime example of what happens when you're faced with a difficult situation and you're under a lot of stress and you maintain composure. Like that could have went bad. For instance, they could have took an hour and my daughter could have just been wandering around the streets by herself. I'm so proud of myself because I, I, I used to be a panicky, not panicky, but like when stuff like this would happen, I would instantly get in a bad mood and then the rest of my day would spiral downward. And that is why it did spiral downward because anytime something happened, I would instantly just feel bad. But now it's like I maintain my composure and the lady was telling me, oh, it just so happened she was right around the corner when I called. Like, that's not a coincidence. She said normally this would have taken, it would have taken her 40 to 50 minutes to get here. And had it taken 40 to 50 minutes to get here, then I would not have been able to pick up my daughter. So I'm, I, I'm not glad that happened, but I'm glad, I'm pretty sure this is going to help someone. Um, just understand how it works, man, when you just maintain your composure and you just have faith that things will work out. Now, this is something small. It could have been something big, but you get the point. Anyway, let me go get my child. Hi! Hi, baby. Hi, daddy. You'll never believe what happened. What? Get in. Oh, gosh. What? what happened? So I pulled, I pulled up to um, the vitamin shop, and then I realized that I freaking left the, I locked the keys in the car. <laughs> oh, I got my free card. So, uh-oh. It's huh? good. I said, uh-oh. Why did I say, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to I say that. I got uh -oh. five A's, one B, one C. For real, mommy? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one B, one C. Baby, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud. Okay. Give me kisses. Oh my God, mommy. All right, so let me tell y'all. Alyssa has been working really hard to improve her grades over the last few years. And I am so proud of her because she has brought her grades up so much. So much. Baby, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. That's exciting. I gotta give you something. Money. Bruh. I'm so proud of you, baby. Thank you. Oh my goodness, mommy. Why are you crying? Because you work so hard, baby. You work so hard and your grades are so good now. And I'm I'm just I just want you to know how proud of you I am. This is amazing. It it means so much more to me that I get off. that your no that your grades have improved because you are working really hard. RJ for RJ school is just easy for him. Mm -hmm. So when he gets good grades, I expect and I'm proud of him. But for you, it's like you gotta work a lot harder than RJ to make these kind of grades. Ooh. Okay, thank you. Those are fresh. Thank you. What's up, boss? Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Oh, this is my favorite 7 Eleven game. No, What's up, bro? Hey. Who is that, Corey? <sighs> Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? RJ's here. How was your day? What were you eating? Why is your mouth red? Alyssa got a report card. Mm -hmm. Take a guess. A A B A. A A A A B C. Oh. She did good. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Are you proud of her? Yeah. Good job, Alyssa. You are not no proud of me. You do. 
Why, 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 why wouldn't he be proud of you? Because he's so sarcastic all the time. But that's just my personal character. You don't think he's proud of you? I, you I'm probably. always sarcastic. Yeah. But I think you're proud of her. You don't think I'm always sarcastic? RJ got his report card today too. Okay. B, C, A, A. That's kind of the so, same thing. So you guys only get four grades? Yes. Yeah. I have related art teachers. Art, music, physical education. You have to get like S's. Nah, this is good though. RJ, this is really good. It's okay. Why you? Why you got a sad face? Cause you're not used to getting C's, it's okay, bro. You just know where you gotta work, where you gotta work a little bit harder. It's okay, don't be sad. It's not, it's okay, you did well, bro. You can get, you can get all A's again next marking period. Okay, don't cry. Let me turn this off. Don't cry, RJ. So, <laughs> let's just take advantage of the fact that I'm just not gonna tell her no today because her grades are so on point. So she wants to drive. So we gotta find an empty parking lot right now. And also, RJ's gonna use his free you know, homework de homework pass because Lisa doesn't have homework. And I'm gonna treat them to dinner wherever they want. And they chose. Buffalo Wild Wings. Look at that. Look at that. You hype. Put the back up. She's like an old lady. Yeah, you look how far you gotta reach back for this seatbelt. What the? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's not a good sign. What do you mean that's not a good sign? I know how to drive. Put my signal on. <laughs> that's not the signal. Wrong signal. There we go. I'm giving you one star. I'm a good driver. I'll give you two and a half. <laughs> Alyssa's yeah. gonna be an Uber driver. I can't wait to see you on next week. I can't wait to get that money. Oh my god, I'm gonna be the Uber. That's my mom. She's talking to my mom. Are hey, you putting your visual lines on? I'm going to Carolina. You're going to Rebounders? That's correct. I get the I get to show her my new backflip. Matter of fact, I got a premiere to the to the vlog my backflip. Nah, my backflip my backflip is on point. Right, RJ? I'm backflipping, ma. Yes. Mhm. Mm RJ, see me? Yes. I know how to backflip. Oh, I gotta see this. Oh my god, I gotta make sure my camera's fully battery down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kyrie has a face mask on now? Oh, Kyrie does have a face mask. Every Celtic is gonna hurt now. So here's the struggle, right? I'm not gonna eat anything here. I'm gonna try to stay focused and I'm going to watch them eat their wings and french fries because you know what right now i am not in this in, in this part of my week where i eat foods like this i'm just not and it's okay so for the people with kids i understand it's hard to eat healthy when you have kids and kids like to eat kid friendly things and kid friendly things are not normally things that align with your fitness goals but just know that it can be done it just got to be important enough to you all right which truck would y'all rather me get the range rover or the g-wagon yeah i mean yeah yeah the g-wagon you say the g-wagon all right what about you rj look you gotta look at the pictures both of y'all think the g-wagon yeah i love you i'm proud of you thank you come say bye bye baby Bye, baby. Bye, Dad. I love you. Love you, too. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> 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 
Hey, how you doing? Oh, for real? Hey. I'm, yeah, I'm recording on the vlog right now. Yeah, she's gonna be on the vlog. What's your name? Vanessa K. Oh yeah, I recognize your name. I've been following you since like probably a thousand subs. Wow. It's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. And what's your name? Christiana. I have a YouTube account too. Oh, for real? Alright, so shout your YouTube out. Come on now, you gotta be you gotta be ready. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Videos will be coming soon. It is Christiana K. I know this is probably a weird place to talk about this, but whatever. So my mom is gonna be coming out here next week. And I know you guys probably never heard me really talk about my mom. Because me and my mom have a really, let's say, interesting relationship. Um I have what people call mommy issues. Well, I had. Let me say that, just because it's, it's not me, and I and I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even attach that sort of thing to my identity. But um, let's just say I used to show symptoms of a person with mommy with mommy issues. You know, where I was, I was, uh, I had commitment issues. I had trust issues when it came to women. I, I always expected women to take care of me. I was. I had a lot of issues, like I was a beta. I, I definitely, in the past, I wasn't, I didn't take care of my responsibilities like I should have. I was looking for, for, for an, an escape. Me and my mom haven't always had the best relationship. Uh, she has her personal issues that she's fighting. And now in retrospect, I understand that. But there was a lot of things that happened during my childhood that I held a lot of resentment for her to, you know, because of the things that happened. And um, but now that I'm older, I'm trying my best to forgive her. I've forgiven her, um, but just try to rebuild the relationship and just take her for in, in, in any way that I can that I can have her in my life. Um, she's a great grandma. You know, my kids love her. She loves my kids. But the issues, like my mom, is a very pessimistic. She's had toxic relationships all her life. Long story short, she's coming in town next week. She hit me up out of the blue. Like, me and my mom probably talk, I don't know, once every three or four months. She hit me up. She said she wants to come down. So, you know, I told her, of course, like, please do. I look, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, but it's something I know is going to be very hard for me mentally to deal with because she likes to, she likes, she has a lot of negative energy on her. Like, she talks about a lot of things that just drain me. So I'm gonna try my best to and I'm gonna pray a lot about it. I'm gonna pray that when she comes, I can be the version of myself, bring my best self forward and hopefully help her in, in some way. I just hope that the encounter uh, yields some sort of positive results. You know, she'll, this is gonna be her first time really hanging out with Kimmy, you know, that much. But I'm going into it with very positive, you know, I'm very optimistic about it. I believe that some some growth is going to happen in our relationship and i believe that um i'm in a good place now whereas before i would kind of like sh i would allow her to bring my energy down and it, it would cause me to do things like we would fight a lot um but i'm i'm looking forward to it you know i've grown a lot like i've grown past my mommy issues and it's because i'm i'm now whole you know i i'm no longer a victim to you know, I used to, I used to have a, a victim mentality, and I'm no longer like I, I no longer blame her for anything. Yes, she could have been a better mom, but I no longer am blaming her for anything. Like I'm my own man, and what's in the past is in the past. I'm looking forward. I'm I'm very blessed with with this mission that God has given me, and I'm very blessed with the opportunity to share my struggles with you guys and the way that you guys have been receiving um, my content. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, it's gonna be good. I'm a, I don't even know how she is about the camera. I don't know, she did a, she did a little feature for the, for the documentary, but we'll see how, how she is with the camera. But I hope to let you guys meet her. She has an amazing soul. She's a really good person. She just, uh, I just think she needs God. <laughs> That's really what I think it is. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna pick up some dinner. 
and then I'm gonna head to the gym and do some cardio. Today is just my cardio and stretching day. So I've started doing that. I've been lifting three days a week. Three days a week I'm doing compound lifts three days a week. And then two or three days a week I'm just doing cardio. Some days I'll do steady state, some days I'll do high intensity cardio. And then I've been stretching two days a week, 15 minutes of stretching. So I'm gonna do that today. Anyway, um, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness, so get well. Get money.